If I told you a story about a first year agent who used one single lead source and that lead source produced 10 closed listing transactions for that agent, would you be interested in learning more? Before we get into the content, let me introduce myself. My name is Spencer McDuffie. I'm a real estate agent out of the North Texas market. And welcome back to the next video in the series, The Real Estate Sales System, where I'm covering the fundamental concepts required for a real estate agent to build a successful and profitable real estate agent sales business. In this video, we are talking about prospecting a fantastic lead source that can definitely yield at least 10 listing transactions per year, and it's called the expired listing. So yes, you did hear that right. I got licensed in September of 2018, and in 2019, I had 10 listing transactions closed only from a single lead source, the expired listings. 44 transactions, 10 of those as a first year agent were expired listings. I'm not the only real estate agent finding success working this lead bucket. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys an overview of what expired listings are and some specific strategies that you can use to implement these into your sales business. So what is an expired listing? An expired listing, otherwise known as a canceled listing, is a listing that belongs to an owner who decided to list their home for sale and for whatever reason, the property didn't sell. And when the property came off the market, it is classified is either an expired listing or a canceled listing. And believe it or not, this is an amazing opportunity for you. So why exactly do I love working with expired listings so much? And apart from the obvious, the success that I've had working this lead source, they understand that who you work with matters. Expired listings have gone through the learning curve of being on the market. Their second time around, they're going to be more purposeful in the agent that they choose to represent them on the sale. And while maybe in the beginning they were more commission focused, in the end they come to realize that having a lower commission does you no good if the agent that you choose can't sell the property. So in my experience, I tend to find that expired listings are much less commission focused, which means much fewer objections around commission that you have to handle. On top of this, expired listings have also already proven that they're willing to work with a real estate agent. They understand the value that a real estate agent brings to a transaction. So again, it's one less objection for you to have to handle. So let's talk about the reason that working with expired listings might actually be challenging. For first and foremost, the main reason houses don't sell in the current market is because of pricing, which indicates that expired listing owners might have unrealistic pricing expectations that they're not willing to move from. Not to mention, when you start your relationship off with an expired listing for the most part, they're not in the best mood. They're frustrated because their previous agent didn't do their job. They're frustrated because their house didn't sell. And now they're frustrated because they have several agents reaching out to them, telling them that they can get the job done. And while all of those things might be true, expired listings are still a phenomenal lead source for the listing agent that understands the perspective of an expired listing and learns to deliver value in such a way that inspires confidence in that expired listing to hire you for the job of selling their home. So with all that being said, what does it take for a real estate agent to be successful working with the expired listings? Number one, a strong understanding of scripts and dialogues. As we said before, these consumers feel most of the time as though they've made a mistake in the previous agent that they chose to represent them. They are not going to make that mistake again, which means you need to show up on your A game, which likely means you need to be very good at delivering a listing presentation and handling sales objections. Number two, the real estate agent who's going to be successful in working with expired listings is going to be aggressive in their approach and they're going to be consistent in their approach. Expired listings come onto the market every single day, which which is a challenge for a real estate licensee who struggles to be consistent in their prospecting. The longer a new expired sits on the market, the more real estate agents hit them up and they start to eventually tune out real estate agents. Just like Ricky Bobby said, if you're not first, then you're last. Number three, the real estate agent who's going to succeed working with expired listings understands the perspective of the expired listing and creates value propositions to help them feel more comfortable making the decision to hire you to list and sell their home. 
So typically, as I'm explaining expired listings to people, when we get to this phase in the conversation, they're normally pretty bought into the concept of working with expired listings. And the big question they ask me is, okay, I'll do it. How do I start? In the next phase of this video, I'm gonna give you guys three of my personal favorite tips, tactics, and strategies that will allow you to start working the expired listings and set listing appointments today. Tactic number one, internalize your scripts and dialogues. When it comes to working with the expired listings, you need to be comfortable and confident in order to set an appointment with an expired listing. The simplest way to do this is to role play expired appointment setting scripts with other real estate agents so that you can get from the initial conversation to the kitchen table. Number two, using a multi-channel approach in your attempt to reach the expired listing. So many real estate agents focus on making the calls, making the calls, making the calls. But what they don't spend time doing is considering adding their expired listing leads on Facebook, commenting on the posts of the expired listing leads, sending them friend requests, driving to their house and knocking on the door, writing them a letter, shooting them direct messages on Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn and obviously emailing and making the calls. The agent who's resourceful in locating these leads in order to initiate a conversation is going to be successful. And number three, probably the most common question that I get from real estate agents who wanna start working this lead source is how do I get the phone numbers? I'm gonna recommend three companies that you at least consider which, hey, maybe this is a great opportunity for me to thank the sponsor of today's show. Wait. I'm the sponsor of today's show. Guys, if you want to support, we don't have a sponsor, click the subscribe button. All joking aside, how do you get the phone numbers? There are three dominant players in this real estate space when it comes to getting phone numbers for expired listings. Number one, the Red X, which is who I personally use, but I don't get compensated for recommending them, unfortunately. Number two is Vulcan 7, and number three is Mojo Dialing Systems. All of these companies are similar in that they're data aggregators. They go out into the marketplace, and when expired pop up, they go out there, rub the public records, and generate phone numbers. They put the expired listings into a list with links to the Zillow profile and everything. Phone numbers right there, so all you actually have to do is click the button and make the phone calls. So if you're gonna be serious about working the expired listings, I'm going to highly, highly recommend that you consider hiring one of these companies so that you can get access to the expired listing data. Normally, when I make this recommendation, real estate agents ask me, well, yeah, I mean, but how much does that cost? I just looked at the Red X website and you can get access to their expired listing data for the low, low cost of $59.99 per month. Compare that to some other lead sources out there, guys. There are other lead sources out there where a single lead is more than $60. I'd say it's pretty affordable. If you are a real estate agent who's been struggling to get listing inventory into your business, I would like to urge you to at least just consider working with the expired listings. I've covered the pros, I've covered the cons, I've covered multiple tips, tricks, and strategies on how you can go after this lead source and convert it into listing appointments and listing transactions closed. At this point, it's not a question as to whether or not you can get a listing. The only question is will you? In the next video in this series, we are going to continue our discussion on prospecting real estate sales buckets. I'm super excited that you guys have decided to join me on this journey. If you're loving the content, comment below. Let me know what you like about it. Give me a like. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you at the next video.